Yuskawa has the highest function digital interfaces to major power source brands. We have designed the interfaces to allow users to access setup and manage higher level process information from the robot teach pendant. This is in addition to the meat and potatoes weld control functions used to perform welds in the robot program. Yuskawa's first digital interface was created about 15 years ago for the Miller Auto Access DI with DeviceNet protocol. Yuskawa created the interface to provide the same level of settings and control possible with their support software on Palm PDAs. Technology has changed with Miller adding Ethernet communication and Insight CenterPoint Arc monitoring. Web pages are used for power source setup. Yuskawa has introduced different robot controller configurations but each has had the same high-level interface functionality with the addition of new functions as available. The teach pendant control minimizes the need for a PC to set up power source functions. Miller's release of the auto continuum in late 2017 allowed it to be fully integrated with the DX200 controller. Yuskawa has updated the interface designed around the auto access to optimize it for auto continuum on our new YRC controller with AR series robots. Let's review how the teach pendant can be used for setting up programs on the Miller power source. The teach pendant queries the power source and displays the processes stored in each of the eight programs when opened. Users can pull down a list of available processes and select the one desired for a particular wire type, size, and gas combination. Miller has added VersaPulse and HDMIG processes on the auto continuum. Miller has made all processes standard on the auto continuum, unlike some of their competitors who may charge for optional software or hardware to get added capability. Yuskawa has updated the YRC interface to include some pull-down fields to sort application criteria and make it easier to sort and find application processes to program. The processes loaded into programs can be displayed by anyone, but the saving of new processes is password protected for security. Welding processes are the main use for Miller power source programs, but there are additional settings. While many are related to semi-automatic operation, the run-in speed can be accessed to control the feed rate used prior to arc initiation. Other global settings include the activation of airs from the power source. Some may be more effective for different applications or require additional hardware. Setting is more convenient than web pages and power source errors are coded with description and recorded in alarm history. Miller equips Auto Access and now Auto Continuum with a user interface, unlike some other manufacturers. Why would I bother using the Teach Pendant instead of the Power Source display? Some of that relates to control. There's a utility in the robot that allows you to save the settings made for the Power Source. While this does not back up data from the welder, it can allow you to clone the settings to other welders in a multiple robot cell or cell to cell if you are lucky enough to have many robots in your plant. I can hear some of you saying, what? People can change things on the power source from the robot? Don't freak out. Any changes to the power source setting are password protected. In fact, you can use the robot to administer edit lock on the power source to prevent personnel from jacking settings on the front of the welder. Miller has included meters on their power source, which is appreciated by old school welders like myself. However, the teach pendant can also display live weld data. It includes the addition of travel speed and heat input to aid in documenting a procedure. For a cell with multiple robots, a convenient summary display allows data from all welders to be viewed at a single location. 